Okay, in this video, we're going to cover some stuff that isn't covered in the book, but that's really important to know. In stage 13, we first began to see infinitives. So here's an example. Ego amphoram portare non volo. I don't want to carry the amphora. And infinitives generally are going to get translated to blank. In stage 13, once we learn the infinitives, the vocabulary checklists also begin to present new verbs with their principal parts. So here's an example, porto, portare, portawi. Porto is the first person singular of the present, I carry. Portawi is the first person singular of the perfect, I carried or I have carried. And that's what gives us that perfect stem that we use for forming the perfect. Portara is the present infinitive to carry. And the reason that the vocab checklists now give us the present infinitive of verbs is because that's how we can tell what conjugation a verb belongs to. So if you see a long A in the infinitive, that's a first conjugation verb. Long E, second conjugation, short E, third conjugation, long I, fourth conjugation. So let's look at how conjugation affects the forms of the present. So we'll start with the first conjugation. We have this long A, and that long A wants to be there before the O, S, T, mus, tis, N, T, personal endings that we know for the present. But before the fi final O ending, it disappears. The A goes away. Before the final T and NT endings, it's shortened. But here it is, long A, there, there, and there, before the final S, MUS, and TIS endings. So it disappears before the long O. It's shortened before final T and NT, but it appears in the other forms. Second conjugation, so the infinitive has this long E, and it too wants to stay there before the personal endings. And in fact, it doesn't disappear before the final O. It's a little stronger, it can stick around, though it is shortened. It's also shortened before final T and NT. So it appears as long only here, here, and here. So that's a second conjugation verb. Now the third conjugation has the short E, and that does not do such a good job of sticking around before the personal endings. So you can see it disappears before the O, and it becomes an I, a short I, before most of the other endings. Now, Latin does not like an int ending, so before the final nt of the third person plural, it actually becomes a u. Okay, so the vowel of the third conjugation is this short e, but in fact, there are no short e's here before the personal endings. Now, the fourth conjugation. Now, that has this long i, and it's a long vowel does a better job of sticking around before the personal endings. So there it is before the final O of the first person singular. It gets shortened, but it's there. Audis, long I. Audit, shortened before that final T. Audimus, auditus. And then when we get to the third person plural, you remember I said we don't really like that int ending. So we have a U inserted before the I and the NT personal ending, audiunt. Now, conjugation doesn't just affect the way that the present works. It also affects what vowel appears before the bomb, boss, bot, bomb, spot, spont of the imperfect. Okay, so first conjugation, you're going to see that long A before the bomb boss bot. 
Second conjugation, you're going to see that long E. Third conjugation, that short E actually gets lengthened. So in the imperfect, the second and third conjugations look just alike. Fourth conjugation, the long I changes to an I long E. So do ke bom, tra he bom, au di e bom, but por ta bom in the first conjugation. All right, so conjugation matters in the present and the imperfect. It changes what vowel appears before the endings. However, conjugation doesn't matter at all for the perfect tense. Whatever the third principal part is, you take off that long I personal ending, and whatever stem you end up with, that's the stem you use. Conjugation does not matter. So, doku, right? That's our stem from the third principal part. And we just add the endings to it. Doku we isti it imis istis erunt. Audiu, right? That's our stem. And you add the same endings. E isti it imis istis erunt. So conjugation really matters for the present. It really matters for the imperfect. It does not matter at all for the perfect, which is just formed off that third principal part.